Once you've recorded your performance, you're gonna to want to edit it. And this is a little bit different than what you get from a traditional MIDI controller because it is sending multi-channel information. So we have to work with a multi-channel recording. And there's a couple functions built into Logic to make that much easier. If we double click on our region, we'll open up our MIDI editor, the piano roll editor. And we can also click on this button to open up where you would normally edit your velocities. But we can show all the other control changes and channel pressure that's sent. And so I can switch this over to channel pressure to see the data that was sent and see the channel pressure, the press dimension, and how that's associated with that note. If I click on the other note, we'll see that that changes over. By choosing the different notes, we're telling Logic to view another MIDI channel. It can be helpful to recolor the notes based on MIDI channel so it's really obvious which note is on which channel. And we can do that by going to the View menu and changing to Set Note Color over to by MIDI channel. You'll see the notes will recolor and it'll be really obvious which note is on which MIDI channel. One last thing, as you move notes, also remember to move the pressure data along with it so that as you change the position of that note, that great expression uh, is retained with the note itself.